Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start this week with a pair of very cool stories from the world of astronomy. First, a telescope in Texas has detected the first light from a catastrophic stellar explosion that took place 12 billion years ago. The explosion, which NASA designated GRB 140419A, was detected by a telescope operated by Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas at 11 p.m. local time on April 19th. The event was a gamma ray burst, an incredibly powerful explosion that takes place during the collapse of some high mass stars. The study of gamma ray bursts is still a relatively new branch of astronomy. The first one wasn't detected until 1967 by accident, and it wasn't until the 1990s that they could be detected reliably. GRB 140419A occurred 12.1 billion light years away, which means the light that was detected by the Texas telescope had been traveling for 12.1 billion years and began its journey a little over one and a half billion years after the Big Bang. The next astronomy story pertains to objects that are a lot closer to home than the source of that gamma ray burst, but are almost as ancient. Two planets have been discovered orbiting Captain's star, which at only 13 light years away is one of the nearest stars to our Sun. One of those planets is even orbiting at a distance that should allow for liquid water to form on its surface. But if you ask me, that's not even the coolest part. You see, Captain Star and its planets might be close by now, but they're not from around here. Captain Star is thought to have originated in a dwarf galaxy that merged with the Milky Way beginning about 400 million years ago. The remnant of that galaxy's core can be seen today as Omega Centauri, the Milky Way's largest globular cluster located around 16,000 light years from us. The rest of the stars from that dwarf galaxy, including Captain Star, were dispersed in a stream around the Milky Way, distinguishable by the age and chemical composition of its constituent stars. Like the stars of Omega Centauri, Captain Star and its planets are estimated to be 11.5 billion years old a mere two billion years younger than the universe itself. Back down to Earth now for this final story. Researchers at UC Santa Barbara have developed a tumor-targeting nanoparticle. The nanoparticles are silver spheres coated in a peptide shell which allows them to deliver drugs directly to tumor cells. Nanoparticles are necessary to effectively deliver certain drugs which would otherwise be blocked by the cell membrane. These silver nanoparticles are visible on diagnostic imaging, allowing doctors to readily determine how much of a given drug was absorbed by the target tumors. They are also non-toxic and designed so that those which don't reach their targets are broken down and filtered out through the kidneys. The researchers at UCSB's Center for Nanomedicine who developed these nanoparticles claim they could be useful for attacking not only tumors, but also antibiotic-resistant bacteria. A Texas telescope detects a massive stellar explosion from 12 billion years ago. A nearby ancient star is found to host a pair of equally ancient planets. And silver nanoparticles show promise as the latest weapon in the fight against cancer and infection. That's the good news. <laughs>